What's up, guys? Uncle John here. So I always see people, you know, that are talking about how they make soap and stuff like that. And it's cool seeing how everybody does it a little different. But the one thing I see that drives me absolutely bonkers is people talking about the fumes. The fumes never bothered me. Being inside is not a big deal. Keeping your face over the top of the container is a big deal. If you can stand an arm's length, eh, not quite an arm's length for me, I got longer arms than most, and stir like that, most of the time the fumes aren't going to get you unless you're trapped in a little corner or something. If you open a crack a window near where you're working, you should be fine. People talk about going outside to mix their lye. You know, to me, that's okay, but the more you walk around with your lye, the more apt you are to trip and spill or, you know, somebody's going to knock it over. So today, I got a solution. Okay guys, empty container that I mix my lye in. Turn the scale on, make sure it's at zero. Tared, tared, whatever you wanna say. All right, so for my basic soap recipes, I use 8.5 ounces of lye, and I use 16 to 18 ounces of water by weight. So here's what I like to do. So, and I don't use the ice most of the time because I can get through it. But if I need, my, like my daughter, she's doing it and she wants to like cut down on the fumes, ice. So I use most of the ice. Get it to about the weight we want. And whatever melted water there is, that's fine. So I got that to just about, there we go, 16 ounces a pound. And I'm going to go ahead and put two ounces of water in to bring it up to 18 ounces by weight. Always do everything by weight. It's much easier. And I like to use the water. Some people use just straight ice. I like to use a little bit of water to, as a catalyst to get it going when I put the lye in. Sodium hydroxide, you can use food grade, not food grade. It really doesn't much matter for soap as long as it's 100% sodium hydroxide and it'll say like 99.5 or 99% um, pure. So you wanna make sure it's, you know, it's clean. And even the food grade almost never says 100% pure. All right, so we're gonna put in 8.5 ounces of lye right on top of the ice in the water. Always add your lye to your liquids. Uh-oh. That was 18. <laughs> Six. Three. <laughs> I goofed. So now I need 5.5. Always zero your scale out between things. I got distracted talking. Some people go slow and wait for it to dissolve. They'll do it in steps. I'm just going to put it all in. I am going slower than normal. Part of that's because I messed everything up. But look, you can see there's no fumes here. Give me the 5.5 here, and then we'll start mixing. And I say 5.5 because I already did three on top of the 18 ounces. You can see the ice melting, hopefully. There it is. Yeah, we'll use a silicone cheap dollar store spatula. Mix it up good. And really, I didn't need the water. I like it because it gets things going just a little bit faster than pouring straight on ice. But the lye is going to react with the ice and start melting it right away. But look, you can see, I mean, you can see with the black background, there's no steam coming off of this. There's no fumes. Watch. Nothing. Now for me, I can't take the time to do this. When we're in production mode, okay, so all the ice is melted. And I keep stirring just to make sure there's no granules that are gonna be uh, left behind. Because sometimes they'll stick on the bottom of your container and make it a pain in the butt to mix again later. Just a little tiny piece of ice in there, it won't give up. Nope, it's gone. And it's not nearly as hot. Although when I'm making my soap, I kind of like that re uh, that reaction. I like having a little bit of heat 
in the lye water and the oils. But for certain fragrances, if I got to mix, you know, soap a little cooler, then so be it. Ta -da. There you go. No fumes. So you can mix inside all winter as long as your ice maker is keeping up. See that? No fumes. Okay, guys. So there you have it. You can soap inside all you want. Summer, winter, you don't have to go back and forth and walk with a pitcher of lye and, you know, take a chance on tripping over the door sill coming in and, trip, you know, spilling it everywhere or, you know, whatever. So, and the fumes, there are no fumes. I mean, you saw it. I just mixed it up. It's dissolving nicely. A couple more minutes, that'll turn mostly clear and it'll be ready to use. I like to wait until it's almost totally clear before I use it. All right. Hope you got something out of that. Leave your comments down below. Do me a favor. Click subscribe if you got something out of this and check out our other videos. Thanks, guys.